welcome back to another challenge week. This is Kimberly and Heather and I are really excited that you're joining us again. This week we're going to talk about digital kits and the challenge is to use only one digital kit for your layout. And you're probably asking, well, why? Well, one of the biggest questions I get from many of my customers is, where are all my elements for my digital kit that I downloaded? You get this great kit and then you're like, where are all my elements? Where are all my designer series papers? And that's why I really wanted to do this challenge this week is so you can open up some of your digital kits and get to know them a little bit better and know exactly what uh, embellishments you have. And then for those of you that really already know this, um, this is going to give you a good challenge to actually just use one kit. So let's talk about first where you're going to find those kits and uh, where you're going to find those elements. Um, they're going to be up here in your resource palette or you can also find them over here in the design center. I actually love to use my resource palette for this and I come up here to this little flower and that's my embellishments. You'll find your designer kits by opening that browse and you'll see this little note here designer kits and if I push this arrow up you'll notice these from here, this A to Z, all the way down to the wide polka dot ribbon, these pieces here are what I call standalone. These were, um, these were just the button bouquet, or they were just the bright blooms that do not belong within a kit. Now if I come up here to my designer kits, and I come scroll down to the uh, scent with love embellishments, this is the kit that I'm using for my layout and I can find every designer uh, embellishment for that designer kit right there. Now the same goes for the stamps and the same goes for your embellishments. So what I like to do when starting off with something like this and especially for something like this with this challenge is to come up here and open in my embellishments that kit, open my stamps in that kit, and open my uh, designer series paper in that kit. And now I, I'm ready to get started. So what I'm going to do, show you really quick, is how I got that background. I started off with that Scent with Love number 10 and came up here to my backgrounds and just changed that opacity down a little bit because I wanted that paper but I didn't want it to be so bright. And then created a photo box. and brought it up here and just kind of tinkered with it a little bit and then I went ahead and put this designer series paper in it here this has great paper this is a new kit it's a uh, brand new and it actually has a stamp set that goes along with it um, that is super cute as well so something to definitely check out oops not what I wanted uh, Command Z, that's the undo button. I use that a lot. And my computer says I'm tired. There we go. So I went ahead and used this. I actually did a uh, copy and paste uh, for this as well because I really liked it and uh, brought this paper on down here as well. And I wanted to give it a little bit more of a drop shadow. Uh, to pop it up a little bit more. And let's come back to the original page and I'll show you just a couple other things that I did. <clears throat> um, on this piece here, right here, these little chevrons, I want to show you two things that I've done. Um, you'll notice here uh, it actually says Scent with Love and you see the chevrons next to it. Those are the chevrons I used and what I did was came over here to my crop tool and then I just cropped them out and hit OK. And then I went ahead and changed the color of those and then I copied it twice, used my align tool right up here and aligned those pieces all together. I then went up to arrange and I grouped them. You can also hit uh, your command G kit uh, key as a shortcut. So let me close that. And then I want to talk about one more, the arrow. Um, like I 
told you once before, arrows are huge. For this, I loved the arrows. Again, I came here to my crop tool. I cropped out one arrow because I didn't want the deliver or any of that. And then I changed the color and I duplicated that. So I only had to crop it once, duplicate it, and you see my arrow here and you see my arrow there. There you go. That's my video for this week. So the challenge is just use one kit. I can't wait to see what you come up with.